101X, the CJ Morgan Show, weekdays 3 to 7. I guess what we would call a viral celebrity. She's known as Austin Poop Girl. We're not going to call you that. You're, uh, you go by <laughs> Madam Jubilee, correct? That is correct. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, sorry, I didn't have your mic on. Um, Come on. Now, uh, <laughs> Madam Jubilee, mm. you went viral over the weekend because mm. you were down on 6th Street and there was a pile of horse manure, as there tends to be when the police are downtown riding their horses like uh, the cavalrymen of old. Yeah, they just plop anywhere they want. Yeah, yeah. it started with a picture. <laughs> That started spreading around, I think, Saturday night. And then by Sunday, there was video. There were other people. It went crazy. (laughs) Watching it, we have a few questions because we kind of talked about this a little bit. A lot of people have. Um, first and foremost, I think, you know, we'll get to the why you did it because I think that's important. Um, but were you wasted or what drugs were you on (laughs) to roll around in horse stew? Oh my God. There's this, uh, really good strand called Jubilee magic. Oh, that DNA blood that's just like running through my so it was, it was just, just you. Me. I'm just weird. I'm wacky. Uh, I will say. Okay, I can okay, tell. Okay, you're okay, a little okay, weird, okay. wacky. You, you seem like a lot of fun, though. I, well, thank you. I, oh, and you said it. I'm, down for anything, clearly. Uh, uh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And for some reason, you know, I've kind of been weirdly watching people on the internet and arguing about them. When you look at the video, you don't look wasted. Right. You don't look um, anything, drugged out. I was out. angry. I was angry because no one was giving me any dollars, like no tips. Oh. Yeah. Eventually, I was like, y'all, this isn't a free show. Well, because this is a performance <laughs> is what I remember taking away from watching right. it. Yeah. Because there was I almost... wasn't planning on it, but then when it turned into I was like, all right, we're in the groove. Yeah. Let's go. I'm already covered in I'm, horse yeah, ass. Well, Empty out the wallets. Let's go. I was going to say, it was like this look in your eye where it's like this, I don't you know, like you were, you were summoning some, not a spirit, like <laughs> monster or witchy or anything like that, but like you summon the spirit of like performance or something. It looked like it was a yeah, I don't want to say performance you, art necessarily. I but. mean, that's that's no. literally what I was looking for you in your eyes was like LSD or Molly because you didn't seem drunk, but it did seem like you were bewitched. Right, right. So <laughs> in, the, in well, that zone, Spencer. Sir, yeah, well, yeah. To be honest, to be fair to my bank account, I did buy an $18 drink. Okay. <laughs> but Welcome you know those Austin. are like half a shot. Like yeah, that's yeah. nothing. Maybe a little bit of like something I put in my cigarette. I don't know, plant cool. medicine. I don't wear on the radio. It's, it's kind of legal. <laughs> so whatever. So it, I want the, you know, when people dig as they will about me, because, you know, all everyone stock me, please. Everyone get the job. Yeah. Uh, but, and I w- so that, those were the things in my system. But I will say kind of what you were talking about, like summoning up that energy and like seeing that as a performance. Yeah, like I, a persona or, a, you know, like your yeah. stage self or something. I'm not I have, sure. No, I, mean, I have that experience. That's mm-hmm. like, that's actually my job. It's been feeding me and giving me nourishment. Like it didn't paying my bills like and it's something that I really pride myself in and like knowing how to like be in the present moment and like pull in the energy of people around me and like I dance on stage yeah so I definitely thank you so much for seeing it I like to say it's like my inner Lilith yeah oh, sure you, yeah. <laughs> you the dark goddess are you into Aleister Crowley I am okay I gotta pick that up <laughs> uh just just got that the whole sex magic but I'm thing like, I just like pick a, a few pages in the book to read. I okay. just like yeah. close my eyes my and favorites. like, tell me which one, you know, I'm not uh, going to pretend like I like know everything. The next from. thing uh, people are asking is, uh, they're like, she's not from here. She can't be from here. Are you visiting Austin I'm not, or are you? One second. Yeah, I'm not. Fuck off. Ooh, oh, sorry. that's all right. We got sorry. it. I'm we so got sorry. it. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> we got the cuss Austin. word. Oh, I call myself. You can cool. say F off. F, for that F word. Austin. Austin thinks they're <laughs> so weird. I don't know. I, I stand by Portland being weirder. <laughs> Well, maybe this is evidence because C- <laughs> CJ CJ has recently sort of ranted. He's like, "Man, are we even that weird anymore, no. Austin?" You know? <laughs> yeah, we like to be outside of the box until the edges of the box get sharp, and then it hurts. There's a lot mm. of faux weirdness in the city, and I'm not trying to be the dude that's like, "Austin was better um, yeah. when I saw Stevie Ray playing top of Pound Fire," mm. because 
your city's grow and change, but we're kind of resting on laurels that aren't there. And a lot of it's just because the income inequality. We're pushing out our comedians, our servers, our bartenders, our live music, um, all that stuff. So it's it's frustrating. So, yeah, I, mm. I got the vibe that you uh, might not be here. And I think a no, few other people did, too. That's interesting because I, I would say actually what brought me to Austin was the arts and I, the comedians. Are, are were you just doing the, a visit? No, I, I lived here before. Okay. So I'm... Uh, by coastal, so I travel for work. Okay, um, I've created a life where I can just go wherever I want to. That's oh, great. You, you, you also have a yeah, <laughs> you, so, you, you have a very bohemian <laughs> vibe. And um, uh, pardon me for saying this, but I think part of what got the video so much attention is you are an attractive woman. You're very attractive, mm-hmm. and it was just so different seeing. A cute girl. You were dressed up to be downtown. You're actually wearing the same shirt. Is mm. has that been washed? Mm, I don't know. Sniff it. You okay. Tell me. Okay. okay. <laughs> He's into that. It's it's, it's, it's a little very better. Uh, <laughs> um, it's been marked with the beast like shit. So like it's sacred now. Yeah, I have yeah. to wear it every time I talk about this night because it's your special shirt. It's like cloaked. I I, <laughs> I get it. Um, now the next thing that a lot of people want to know, and we're going to come back and talk about why you actually did this because it wasn't just a, there was a lot of stuff happening downtown, but. Uh, People want to know I how did you get home? No, how did you get home <laughs> covered in horse crap in manure from Sixth Street? <laughs> oh my god, why had a wild night? I, 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 I you, oh, yeah. you had a let's wild say, night. Let's just say, let's just say, as a true performer, you know, you you leave the stage, you leave work, and you just you you take off that cloak and you go do something else. So. I was feisty. I went to like some after hour places. I but did just, you have to get like, back to a destination oh, anyways, in a Lyft yeah, or an yeah, Uber? Someone did. Someone did. <laughs> it's funny because I was like so in the zone and I think I couldn't even tell it smelt anymore, to be honest. I, was, I don't know. I, I <laughs> At least also it was love horse. the smell. I don't it's, care. It's very hay smelly. It's not as bad, but <laughs> well, it's still crap. All of a sudden, I was in the Uber and I was like, wow, it's really chilly in here. It's like really breezy. And I like r- look around and the Uber driver has all windows down. <laughs> <laughs> it just dawns on me. I'm like, oh. We're going to be back with That's Jubilee fair. Magic and we're going to talk about why she went downtown on 6th Street and rolled around in some horse dung right after this. It's the CJ Morgan Show. I'm going to be honest, uh, going viral on the internet is probably something you never want, but uh, you are going viral. Jubilee Magic's with us. You might have seen her on the internet over the weekend. <laughs> Uh, you were videotaped, photographed, rolling around in a pile of horse doo-doo on 6th Street. <laughs> Since then, what has your life been like in this short window of visiting Austin? Are you are you getting a lot of uh, talk? Are people finding you and on your Instagram? Right. Yes, so many. I've never had so many views. Like, (laughs) this is so silly to say, but like, so many views on stories and stuff. But honestly, um, I would say it's a lot of sitting with emotions and my feelings too, because there was like a reason why I did that, why I danced and shit. Yeah, yeah. Poop. Watch Poop. the S word. It's hard. I got it. We, we, sorry. No, nah, we have the button. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm. Poo. Um, and kind of like reliving the moment, especially seeing some videos of it, because you know when you're in the moment, you I I like left the moment and I kind of forgot the emotions of actually what transpired. Um, and then as like one moves forward on life, you know, you start to like shape the story into something else. And now it's taken on this like she was in poo, like oh she like, was hammered, she's yeah, crazy, uh, she's on yeah, drugs. Mental illness, and that's and that's and not like, the case at all. Well and even okay, also like whatever. I maybe maybe I was on drugs, maybe I you know, all the stuff mental illness, like just the pure like anger and feelings of how who like what poo brings out in people yeah. it's like re- literally like the reflection of like some of the comments that i've gotten like you're being more poo than the poo is being poo <laughs> like, right, 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 you're, right. you're like living the poo like i'm safer in the poo than 
I am with the, in with this the, existence with the with vitriol you. you're getting from the outside. Like I said when you came in, uh, that it's weird that uh, conservative Texas, Austin specifically, has just added to their list of things to be angry about you rolling around and do on 6th Street, which, again, I don't know why it doesn't bother me. It's obviously outrageous. Like I said earlier, you're a really attractive woman, so it even adds a strange juxtaposition to it. But let's get to the brass tacks. Mm -hmm. Why did you do it? Well, um... And you didn't plan to do right. it. I didn't obviously, plan to do it. You, I you really were dressed like, up. You it, look cute. You so, were out. It's so interesting because I think like eventually, like after I tell the story, I will kind of move it into like more of the performance of it. Because thank you for saying that you saw like yeah, well, what came over me. I didn't know what initially but, it was, but then eventually there was a part where it looked like you switched and, and you were like yeah. rubbing it on you, and it right. was like something else. So what? So because the I, movements because of I don't your body. fully know all the details. Like I've been already like called out on stuff. Like um, so. I was on my phone actually stalking a crush, <laughs> like in my zone, and and I heard this pop. And as I heard this pop, I just see this man just like crumble to the ground. And as he's crumbling, like three or four cops like go and like like tackle him or like go on top of him. And it just becomes this like huge scene of like cops on cops on cops. Like if you'll look at the video, um, there's like a video of like, yeah, them on top, like three or four on top of him and then like kind of circling too and also the horses were there um and so it was just it was kind of mayhem it was just like tornado of energy right there and it's getting negative and yeah you can see like you can see fights breaking out you can just feel it like also like we all know what sixth street is it already has like the demons of the alcohol and like it's just like it is such a vortex like that's i really believe in that and like um you know so it's are, like, I, are you into crystals? I am. Of I course like you are. That's yeah, okay. but you know what? You know why I'm very cool and special, and why I'm like you better are. than everyone in the whole entire planet. Uh, I don't need actual like. I'm sorry, that was so cocky. I it, just wanted to. You to it. would be <laughs> a. You would be a great Manson girl okay. that would then depose Manson and be in charge. Oh, we love that. I got that vibe. Anyhow. Uh, That's so, cool. So yes, yes, you, yes. you walk out on 6th Anyways, Street. I don't need you, crystals. You can just like meditate it in your aura. There you go. Yes. So you so walk like out. There's uh, this very <laughs> negative vibe yes. going on. Someone's getting tasered. The cops are surrounding and trying to arrest them. So you try to turn the energy away from this bad stuff happening. What I, what I really wanted to do is I just wanted to make eye contact with the person on the ground too. And let them know they're and, okay? Or? Well, like let them know they're okay and like just make sure that the person stayed conscious like you know yeah just like be like hey like yeah let them know that they're okay and like i yeah i contact yeah um like breathe <laughs> in a way like in my mind i was just like okay m- make eye contact with this person and just like shoot out some like easy loving breath like you know at what point did you <sighs> decide to pick up horse poo well okay so what happened so they i ended up being on the ground and i think like Honestly, I think it kind of shocked the police officers because they looked and they're like, oh, like there's some, what's happening? So they like pulled me up and then they pulled him up. Um, but right before we got up, like the horses just pooped. Poo just so everywhere. Much. Just everywhere. 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 And yeah, yeah, like we everywhere. had just talked about it. Like they poo everywhere. This is normal. Um, but it, it, I <laughs> yeah. felt it like ripple. Like I felt like the earthquake. Like they were nervous. <laughs> it was like they were nervously the, dancing. The horses knew what was going on. Yeah, they. Yeah, they think we treat people like bad. Doo doo. Bad. Too. Yeah. There you go. No, cu- no cussing. <laughs> so you got anyways, it. So, yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm a quick learner. Um, so I, <laughs> I, they took a, they took him away. And then I turned around and I just looked down the street and it's like everything is back to normal. Like I was like, I'm I'm not gonna like go back to dancing. Like this was this was a real buzzkill. Like this is so sad, you know, what the F. And <laughs> um and then I turn around and there's the the cow or the horse doo doo and I I don't know. I just Something felt took around over. It. I was just like, I'm going I'm just gonna sit there. Like I was I think if you see the video of me like walking to it too, like I look like a little sad emo girl. I'm just like, oh like this is so sad. I wasn't even expecting anyone I'm so used to being like invisible and being in my own like reality. I wasn't even expecting anyone to really A like, crowd to draw yeah. and go crazy. And I think I sat down and was just like really sad and just started like playing with it, like making a ball out of it and just like feeling the squishiness like felt really grounding and like oh. um, and I was just sad and then someone was like eat, eat it, eat it. I was like what? Like no, this is not what this is about. Like, like bro, you're about to get pelted. <laughs> yeah. This isn't that kind of yeah. show. And then all of a sudden, yeah, this just took like one person to like run 
uh, like run up with their camera, and then all of a sudden, all these people just gathered came over. around. And, and yeah, and, and then, then, the then it turns into history. a performance. And then we said that I'm the performer. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think just like every performance and every art piece, like I'm, I'm not upset about the hate that I'm getting online, even from friends, um, because and it's not. I can just talking to you. It's not mental illness. It's not drugs. It wasn't not like. I mean, I, I think all the greatest artists are mentally ill. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little that tends to be the what? case. I want to be mentally ill. Good. Please, like. Um, <laughs> Last but not least, <laughs> uh, where can we follow and find you yes. on the internet if you want? If you want that, where can we yes. uh, stalk you? Yes, <laughs> please send me all the love. Um, I I was originally like thinking too that when you ever you send like me love that you just you're sending it to the, the unknown universe. person. Yeah. Too. Um, but also I would like to keep performing and lean into being a performer. So you can find me on my OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, it's Jubilee. Magic spelled the right way with a C K. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that is it's where I, I I'm a mostly a dancer, and okay. so it's gonna be like I just filmed something where I am actually sitting with the feelings of, you know, going viral, and then also someone getting arrested, like, and then being called all this, like, so I just like got this song in my head and just started dancing, and so I'm just doing like really like raw performances that you know. Um, also bring up sensuality because I believe we should all get like connected with our bodies. Um, so please follow me and give me tips and, and yeah. all the love. And then, I'm sorry, also, real quick, you can follow me <laughs> on um, jubilee underscore um, magic. On and Instagram and yeah. uh, OnlyFans. All my stuff is racy, though. Stop, like, reporting it. Don't yeah, report do it. Yeah. Come on. And we'll send true. a link, and we're also <laughs> videotaping this. We'll put it up at 101x.com. Okay. Thank you for coming Thank you. in. Uh, you're obviously a weirdo. You're a human interest piece, mm. but you are a gem. Thank you. That's Aww. what, Crystal, you're not just a crystal. You're a gem. I, I appreciate you coming on and doing this. It was a lot of fun. And uh, take care of yourself. Thank Don't you. let the haters bring you down. Thank you. At CJ Morgan Show. Follow us online because the most important thing about radio is the internet.